Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2022 Dr. Lewis B. O'Donnell Media Summit Red Carpet Show. I'm Alex Brooks. And I'm Clarissa Karki. It's so exciting to be here today. And Clarissa, I don't know about you, but this is my first ever Media Summit that I'm going to be a part of, and especially to be one of the hosts with a topic that has piqued my interest. It's just, I, I couldn't script it any better. Absolutely, I totally agree with you. This is my very first media summit as well, and it is truly thrilling to be hosting this red carpet event. And the topic is really, really important and interesting. And before, we're gonna get into those conversations in just a little bit, but we're gonna send it over to Natalie Barden, who is reporting on the red carpet for today's event. Natalie, how are you doing? Hi, Alex and Clarissa. I am here on the red carpet for this year's Media Summit, where we've got lots of guests making their way to Tyler Hall already for the main event at 3 p.m. We've got lots of amazing panelists here today, but who exactly are they? Let's find out. Our first panelist is Donna Goldsmith, a SUNY Oswego graduate who works as a marketing consultant for different sports and entertainment companies. Goldsmith spent 10 years at WWE, where she was promoted to chief operating officer. She also spent a year with the Super Bowl host company and worked in product licensing with the NBA for 10 years. Another SUNY Oswego grad, Yaa Forietta, now works at CBS Sports as a producer and also produces freelance content for networks including ESPN and Yahoo Sports. Previously, he worked at ESPN for eight years in many different roles and interned at The Morning Show with Regis and Kelly. A day Ellis, a 2004 Oswego graduate and three-time Emmy winner, is an associate director and associate producer for CBS Sports, where he has worked since 2007. In his current role, Ellis works on properties including the NFL on CBS, NCAA basketball, and the PGA Tour. Ellis is also the creator and producer of a CBS Sports original program called Beyond Limits, which spotlights athletes of color. And the final panelist is Morgan Rumpf, who during her time as a Laker became the first female sports director at WTOP 10. The 2017 graduate went on to work as a sports anchor and MMJ in Twin Falls, Idaho. Now, she's the chief marketing officer at C-Suite Executive Solutions, LLC. The panel conversation will be moderated by 2018 Oswego graduate Alif Kareem, a producer and editor for WJZ 13 in Baltimore. Kareem previously worked as the sports director of WDVM-TV in Maryland, and he covered the Washington Nationals in 2019. You'll get to hear from these panelists as we begin our main event here at the Tyler Hall Theater in less than half an hour. I'll have lots more from the red carpet coming up, but for now, let's send it back to Alex and Clarissa. All right, Natalie, thank you so much. As mentioned, the topic for this year's Media Summit is underrepresentation in sports. Yes, Alex, the diverse group of panelists is set to discuss underrepresentation of both athletes and media personalities within the industry. And I'm just going to say it out there I'm a big sports guy, and I feel that this topic really piqued my interest because it is something that just needs to change. It's a topic that just needs more attention from both a media side and also like a professional athlete side. And what it comes down to me is that we're trying to make changes each and every day here at college and in the professional world. So that's something that is really important to me. Yeah, it's very important because on air and off air representation of media personalities is a very important near and dear and topic to my heart. And I may not be absolutely knowledgeable about, about sports, but I do know that underrepresentation still exists. And it's very important to have this conversation. Yeah, and we'll get to that later in the show. Our reporter Natalie Barden spoke with a few of our panelists this morning to ask for their advice for students pursuing a career in media. But like realize you're you're in college. Um, so who Oswego is a great from campus. Oswego in 2005 um, it's a great community feel to it as well. Um, and you get to do a lot of cool stuff. So have fun with it um, and just you know realize the L's are going to come. But as long as you like keep failing forward, um, then you're fine. Natalie also spoke with our panel host, Elise Kareem, another former Laker. Kareem says students should take advantage of the opportunities they have here, but remember to enjoy themselves while they're at college. 
first, first of all, you got to do the work. That's that's one. Uh, you have to put in the work. I, I don't want to say tirelessly, but you, it's 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 hard work you got to put in. Number two, I'd say networking is the key. Um, a lot of jobs don't look at resumes online when you just apply online blindly. You know, you got to know somebody in the building. So, uh, I would say meet as many people as you can face to face. Uh, develop a rapport with them, a relationship with them, and uh, they'll find favor for you. And also, just be yourself. Um, I know for me, I'm a nice guy, um, and being a jerk has not worked for me ever <laughs> in life. Great advice for our students here at SUNY Oswego. When we come back from the break, we'll hear from career connector Dylan Labadia. Stick around the red carpet. We'll be right back. Hey guys, it's me, Isabella Gomez, filling in for Smokey Bear because he's got more to say than just... Only you can prevent wildfires. Like, if you're outside enjoying a barbecue, don't let a hamburger distract you from fire safety. Make sure you aren't dumping your hot coals or ashes onto the ground because that could start a wildfire. So take wildfire prevention seriously and let's save the world one day at a time. Juntos con Smokey Bear, podemos hacerlo. Go to SmokeyBear.com to learn more about wildfire prevention. Welcome back to the 2022 Media Summit Red Carpet Show. Our first guest today is a 2015 grad from SUNY Oswego. During his time here, Dylan Labadia studied communication and social interaction. After graduation, Dylan worked a nine-year career at Vector Cutco, where he was in charge of budget and marketing. Now Dylan works with the company Paychex as a retirement specialist. Dylan, welcome. Appreciate it. Glad to be here. Thank you, Dylan. Uh, once again, why is it important to highlight voices in sports media that oftentimes go unnoticed? Uh, honestly, well, I guess the easy answer is diversity, but really it's just a matter of perspectives. Uh, I really don't think we get the full result or, or spectrum of really anything we're looking at without mm -hmm. the simple answer, essentially, without everybody being represented. So uh, I think it just comes down to empathy, is we really want everybody to feel involved, incorporated, heard. So that way not only can they be involved, not only can it take place, is that, that's how you really shape an arena as a whole. And I mean, sports as some long-term field, it's, it could use some change. It could use some updating to the, the field as a whole. So uh, I just think it's more proactive. It's more progressive, more, more perspective. So very positive. Great, thank you. Um, tell us about your time at Oswego. There's a lot to tell. I, uh, I did do all four years here. I played on the soccer team for a couple years. Uh, and really, I loved it. Uh, I kind of viewed going here a little bit like a business where I knew I was paying to be here. So I, my thought was get as much as I can from the classes, get as much as I can from the alumni network. Uh, I'm just in a great place here. So uh, did my major, tried to get two minors as I could, tried to get as much info as I could before uh, they made me leave it after four years. So no, I loved it here, and it's great to be back. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, my next question is, what did you learn from Oswego and how did that help you in the real world? 
Absolutely. Uh, and I do attribute what I learned here to my major, communication and social interaction, but really I'd say what I learned here is just who I am. Uh, I, love, I learned that I love people. Uh, I like understanding how the world works, why we do the things we do. Uh, and honestly, if I didn't learn the things in communication studies that I did, I would not have the success in business that I do. So uh, being here taught me about myself. It taught me more about the world. Uh, and now after being through college and using what I've learned to be successful in business, it's kind of the chance to give back now. Um, so yeah, it taught me a lot about humans, the way we work, and just changed my life. It's a lot more than what people think they're going to get out of college. I actually got out of college here. So Definitely. Yeah. That's wonderful. Um, do you have any advice for students who may be aspiring uh, to pursue a career in media, business, maybe a crossover? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and this is something I've said a few times today is really regardless of what your field is, if you're passionate about something, however you feel about social media, uh, put things out there. Uh, put written content, make short videos, even if you're terrible at it. Put things out on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat, they're free. Uh, and like I've said a few times today, everything you're building here in college is your brand. So when you finish these four or two years, you've built a brand for the years following. So just get stuff out there. Well, Dylan, it was a pleasure for you to be here. We really appreciate it. Thank appreciate you very you much. Thank you. When we return, we will sit down with Professor Jessica Rear to talk to her about the summit. And Natalie will be talking with another career connector. Stick around. You're watching The Red Carpet Show on WTOP 10. Keys down, Kevin. But I'm gonna drive home. There are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. I guess I have really been looking for love in this dating app. Yep, I'm definitely gonna call her right home. I think you can build a house here with how many bricks are being laid in this game. That is a rapid <laughs> nosedive, and it is at the point of no return, guys. Welcome back to the 2022 Media Summit Red Carpet Show. After today's main event, students will have the opportunity to speak with career connectors like Dylan Labadia. Natalie is on the red carpet right now with one of those, uh, one of the career connectors. Natalie, what you got? That's right, Alex and Clarissa, I am here on the red carpet joined by Paul Edson, a 2015 Oswego graduate who happens to work for the New York Jets, also goes by the name of Boy Green, That's right. and has a radio show with our very own Professor Lurch. Paul, how are you today? I'm doing amazing. It feels great to be back. Yeah, it's great to have you here. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, so just to start off, can you tell us a little bit about what you do for the New York Jets? What's your job like? Yeah, it's a digital reporter, so writing some articles, doing some shows, speaking with players, doing interviews, and uh, it's really just an integral role with the team and uh, being able to tell their stories. That's awesome. So exciting, especially for our students here. I bet we have some Jet fans out there. Um, so tell me a little bit about what the Summit theme means to you. 
Well, really, the summit theme to me means it's opening opportunities uh, for others, paying it back, coming back, and be able to do uh, some of those things. And uh, I think the other thing that really stands out to me is talk about some of the jobs that people aren't aware of and how you're able to get your start, especially coming from college, internships, and uh, getting out into the work world. Absolutely, yeah. So you were a transfer student here at Oswego, is that correct? That's correct, Uga Community College in Auburn. So how did your experience as a transfer impact your time as an Oswego student? Yeah, I got a lot of hands-on, a smaller school, obviously, uh, than Oswego uh, at CCC. So got some hands-on stuff, kind of figured out what I wanted to do. And then when we came to the big show, of course, uh, here with uh, WTOP, WNYO, that uh, wink, you know, getting a lot of that for everybody. Uh, it really prepared me to get ready for all this. Well, that's my next question. <laughs> what kinds of things here at Oswego prepared you for the career you have now? Well, of course, WNYO. Again, uh, one of my main jobs is doing terrestrial radio with a man shout show with Boy Green. Wink again. And, uh, you know, getting some of that action was really good. It was, uh, you know, paramount, quite frankly. Get the reps at WNYO, and that set me up for success because I kind of knew what I was getting into, and I felt a lot more comfortable when I got to the professional ranks. For sure. So you're from Virginia. That's right. Uh, a military brat, uh, born and raised. So Norfolk, Virginia, on the naval base, and then uh, traveled all around the East Coast for the last uh, 20 years. How'd you end up in Oswego? That's a funny and probably longer story than we have, but uh, they just randomly picked it after my dad retired from the Navy. Picked Oswego because my mom loves snow. Well, she got more than she bargained for. That's the <laughs> Oswego choice. Absolutely. Um, so do you have any advice for our students that might be at the panel today that want a career in sports media? I think making sure, first off, that you're never afraid to ask questions and reach out to some of these panelists that took the time to come all the way out here and make sure that you're taking advantage that they're here and doing internships. Internships led to my dream job and everything that I've been able to do, so taking advantage of those as well. So don't be afraid and make sure you seize the day, seize the moment for everything that's out there. Thank you so much. Fantastic advice. Thank you. That's all we have for the red carpet. I'm going to send it right back over to Alex and Clarissa. Be here, right? Reher, okay, just making sure I'm pronouncing it. Thank you, Natalie. Our next guest is one of our favorite professors here, Jessica Reher. Professor Reher is the Chair of Communication Studies and is Undergrad Advisement Coordinator. Professor, how are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm absolutely great. Doing great. Uh, my first question is, what do you think of this uh, media summit, this year's media summit theme? I, you know, I love the theme this year. We have so many students who are interested in sports specifically as like a field and, and interest either just recreationally in something that they enjoy as a hobby or who want to go into this as a future career. Um, and, you know, the topic of representation has become so prominent and so important. And so I think it really blends those two really important topics, right? Student interest with something that we, we need to talk about, right? Which is this broader issue of representation across media, but specifically in sports. So I think it's a great topic. Especially, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And also, this year's Media Summit is, uh, tackles a really important question of underrepresentation of people in media. And um, we know that in, uh, in the media industry, it is very prominent. Uh, it is not common at all, uncommon at all to have just a standard white male do yeah. everything in front of the camera. What do you think uh, this means for people who have traditionally been underrepresented? Yeah. underrepresented? I think it's like so many other things, right? We need to see ourselves in these roles. And there's so many women who are interested in sports, right? You know, if you look at the percentages of women who are involved in like NHL, like 47% of the viewers of NHL fans or fandom are female. Um, if you look at the, the sports that are being played, right, people of color, uh, people of all ethnicities are watching those sports, they're aspiring to them, and it's hard to see yourself in a role if you don't see anybody else who looks like you doing those roles. And so we know that the interest is there, and now it's just a matter of making the teams both on the, you know, the, the, rep, the media on the air and behind the scenes represent what the real world looks like. Uh, and I think that's incredibly important and valuable for our students to see, like, there's a space for you even though there may not have looked like there was, it, it's here, and, and we want to welcome you regardless of your background. Most definitely, and I know my number one goal in doing the media organizations and just being in live sports and a big live sports enthusiast, I want to get more people to represent like women and like people of color. Would you say that this conversation that you will have here at the Media Summit, do you think that will have people to sign up for some live sports and the media organizations and just in general? 
You know, I, I really hope so. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's, a, I hope it helps them see that there's a space for them, not just maybe on air, or maybe not just reporting, but behind the scenes, right? We need people who are doing the graphics, and running tape and doing the research. Like there's this whole field that runs, it's not just the voices we hear, the, the faces that we see, it's also who's behind the scenes. And so I'm hoping this encourages students to make that yeah. space. And very quickly before we go, yeah. uh, do you, what, what exactly do you uh, aim to achieve from the Media Summit? What exactly is the aim? My goal is always to help students to see the possibility, right? And see where they can go in the future. And, and to see that the world's a lot bigger than what they might see here at SUNY Oswego. And this is a great chance to do that. All right, we thank you very much, Professor Rehir, here for sitting down with us. Stick around when we come back. Natalie will talk to some students here at the Red Carpet. Don't go anywhere. You're watching The Red Carpet Show at WTOP 10. Hey guys, it's me, Isabella Gomez, filling in for Smokey Bear because he's got more to say than just... Only you can prevent wildfires. Like, if you're outside enjoying a barbecue, don't let a hamburger distract you from fire safety. Make sure you aren't dumping your hot coals or ashes onto the ground because that could start a wildfire. So take wildfire prevention seriously and let's save the world one day at a time. Juntos con Smokey Bear, podemos hacerlo. Go to SmokeyBear.com to learn more about wildfire prevention. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day, I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me. Welcome back to the WTOP 10 Red Carpet Show. Many students here use Media Summit as a way to connect with people working in the industry. Natalie is on the red carpet right now with a few students who are attending this event. Nat, how are they feeling? Well, Alex and Clarissa, I've got a great group of students here with me today. We've got lots of people already in the theater getting ready to go, but grabbed a couple to talk to for you guys today. I am joined by Spencer Bates, Kate Salamita, and Stephanie Genisi. What brings you all here today? Uh, today I'm honestly just here to network with a lot of good uh, connections in the field. Um, I want to be a sports writer when I graduate eventually, and so no better time to network than now. Yeah, I am the PR director for this year's Media Summit, so it's been a really great opportunity for me to reach out to all these people who have accomplished so much in their respected fields in sports media, especially as a woman who would one day like to work in sports media. It's been really eye-opening, and getting to connect with them all and network has been a really, really great opportunity. Yeah, it has been great. I'm at the social media coordinator for the Media Summit right now, and we have already met so many amazing people and making so many great connections. This is going to be a great panel today, I think, with them. Awesome. So I guess my next question, what are you all most excited for about this panel discussion and maybe even the Career Connectors event afterwards if you're planning to attend that? Um, I'm definitely looking forward to the panel, but more importantly, looking forward to the Career Connectors because that's where I'm going to be able to talk to people who may be more, you know, have more experience in the field that I sort of want to go into. Um, and you know, I think that's the best part that I'm looking forward to the most. Both the panelists and Career Connectors obviously have been in sports media for such a long time and obviously 
I'm new to it, so getting to hear how they've navigated through so many things, especially there's some females here on the stage, and as a female myself, I'm really interested to see what it's been like for them and how, you know, being a female in a very male-dominated field has been, so just getting more insight to that. Yeah, I, yeah, I really agree with Kate on that. I know there's a lot, too, so like great females here, too, and I would love to learn more about kind of what's going on and what their story is and how they were able to get into this field that I know is very difficult for Awesome. Well, it seems like the theme of underrepresentation is very important to these three, me as well, and that's why we're all here today, to hear from our great panelists and get a little insight into what the industry is really all about. That's all for us right now at the red carpet. We're going to be heading into the theater pretty soon here for the panel. I'm Natalie Barden. Let's toss it back to Alex and Clarissa. Natalie, thank you so much. And Clarissa, I am so excited for this media summit to start. The the interviews that we've had and the career connectors that we've gotten to talk to, it's just been so engaging and so it's just, it's just getting me so excited. And also the students just being able to get the knowledge and just having that impact from voices here, especially in underrepresentation in sports media, it's just, it's just an awesome thing to see. That's right, Alex. I am super, super excited for the Media Summit and I am even more excited for the topic that we're going to uh, be discussing about and the importance behind it. And this is also a tremendous opportunity for uh, even the students who go to Oswego to have to build an awesome network of people to connect with them post graduation and get internships, jobs, and those kinds of opportunities. So I am super excited for all that to happen as well and to meet the career connectors. You know, Clarissa, I am just very excited and I really am just so excited to get in there and just be a part of this Media Summit for the first time, but that is going to do it for our coverage of the 2022 Media Summit Red Carpet Show. Make sure you don't go anywhere because the main event of the Media Summit will be right after this break. From all of us here at WTOP10, I'm Clarissa Karki. That's Alex Brooks. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.